right, welcome back. We're doing part two. All out three. We just got the Megaton. But before we get into that, you guys could uh, hit that subscribe button for me. Be greatly appreciated. Small gesture from you, but a huge act for me. It's that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, last time I was going to go ahead and skip Springvale, but I figured let's just go ahead and take a look. Maybe we might get something to, uh, some nice little loot that we could possibly sell. Get a few more caps to start with. At least check it out a bit. See if we can't find anybody here, or if it's that. Oh, what is that? Oh, looks like a trader. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store, the depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now. What odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible wolf gangs, offer to you? Um, can you repair something for me? Whatever you've got, I've got just the thing to fix it. I guess we'll see. No, you do not. Alright, I'm here to buy then. Let's see what you got. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Here's a BB gun. Some of that. Don't think we're gonna need any of this. And if we do, oops. <laughs> um. Okay, we'll, uh... A pleasure doing business with you. All right, gotta go. See you out on the road, huh? Maybe if you don't die. Hey. Wow. Now that's a mailbox. Alright, so, some good finds in the mailboxes, surprisingly. Oh, brass nuts. Yeah, let's not do that. We don't really want to hear your music, buddy. Dang, how close I gotta be to this sucker? Yeah, we don't want that music. Come on. Ow. Oh my dang arms off. Okay. Well, at least we got rid of the music. I'm sure somebody probably owns that. Alright, can't go in there. Maybe we should, uh... At least do that, so we'll have crippled arms. As fun as that would be. Oh, what is this? Oh, foot locker. Oh, nice. Some way better armor than what we have. Do we look in here? I don't think there was anything in here. Oh, no, there's a cabinet back here. Alright. Find. And oh, we can actually get this one within our skill. Oh, a scoped magnum. Bunch of drugs and some caps. Yeah, we'll take all that for sure. Can either sell it or use it. Although I'd like to keep the scoped magnum. I actually really like that weapon. So, 
Maybe we can repair it, find some ammo for it, and be in business. Alright, nothing. No dumpster diving today. Alright, let's check these buildings out. Alright, get some smokes. Probably sell those. Alright, I got another cabinet here. And it's within our realm to pick. All right, some booze and some body vents. It's pretty cool. All right, we'll check that house out in a second. Let's just go ahead and see what's in here. Some letter from Vault Tech. All right, nothing. There's a school down there. And that's locked off. All right. Let's go ahead and check out that house then. And then we'll go ahead and head to Megaton. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Uh... Who who is Moriarty? Colin Moriarty, the owner of Moriarty Saloon in Megaton. That sack of shit is convinced that I'm some crazy junkie who stole money from him. All right, look, you give me the caps, and I'll tell him to go. Look, I don't know who you are. I'm not just handing over my life's earnings to you. Okay. Well, look, just give me some caps, and I'll tell him to go. You do that for me? I never expected well. anyone to care enough. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Yeah, but let's go ahead and kill that. All right. Whoa, where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Let's, uh, build up some of our karma. <laughs> oh, man. And then we'll take all of that. Give us a better start. Oh yeah, we'll take that as well. I guess we're gonna be evil karma for a while. That's quite alright. Anything here worth taking? Radix. Oh, that pipe for sure. Um, yeah, right, with all that, I don't think we'll need it. Probably be detrimental later. Uh, okay, purified water. Okay, so we got... Oh yeah, we have our leather armor. Much better than what we're using. Let's see, your baseball bat does eight. What's the lead pipe at? Six. Oh, I need some repair. Okay. So it's not too bad. Alright. Let's go ahead and head into Megaton. Go we'll talk to some people. Get some quests. Maybe sell some more of the stuff we just pretty much stole from that lady. Now that we have a fair amount of caps, maybe we get some stuff repaired. It would be nice, but... I don't really remember the repair skill that they have in here, but... You know, we could buy some stuff. I guess we could give him some purified water if we wanted. But... Maybe on the way back. I'll be Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. 
I mean, I did just murder somebody in their house, but yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Friendly, well-mannered? I mean, telltale signs of a psychopath, I guess, but right. Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Uh, I'm looking for my father as a middle-aged guy. Maybe you might have seen him come through here? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Let's, uh, discuss that nuke right there in the background. What about it? Uh, you think maybe someone should try and disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? I could say about disarming it for you. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, There'll be 100 caps in it for you. 9%? Okay. Uh, demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Okay. Alright then. All right. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Well, now that I'm helping you, maybe you help me. Still looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. All right. Gotta go. Carry on. All right. Let's check out the bomb real quick. I forget what our explosive skills has to be. 25. Okay, yeah. That's not for us yet. Okay. Let's go see if we can find Moira. Oh, here we are. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Uh, sure. But, uh, where'd you get that vault suit back there? I like that. Pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours if you help. Oh yeah, well sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. I mean, I did live there. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Um, it's pretty cramped, dark. The food was god awful. I mean, happy to be out of that place. That's terrible. But it'll be great for a foreword. So in that sense, it's. Great! I think you're gonna like it out here. And here's the armored suit. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, wanna help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Um... What's, uh, what's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? 
people could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Okay. Well, this kind of sounds like a good idea. Very excited to help. I'm sure it won't go terribly wrong. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, what's up about this, uh, radiation stuff? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning, so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay, I'll go ahead and get it radiated. Just hit me up when I get back. I don't need a third leg. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. <laughs> now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Okay, um, can you repair any of my equipment? That'd be nice. If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. Okay, she does. But, let's get our lead pipe up. Now, the sniper rifle and the magnum, we're going to have to look at her, uh, what she's selling she got the ammo for it so let me let me see your wares absolutely and she does oh that's so good we want that leather armor to repair ours uh, we can't afford the rocket launcher we want that Maybe some 10 mil as well. So let's get rid of the 32, the Nux, Switchblades. I don't think we'll need that. Armored Vault Suit, pretty cool. Won't need that. Uh, let's sell some drugs. Now, we may need, may have needed those drugs, but I think we can manage without. So, go ahead and accept that. Good hunting. And you got caps for me? Then there ain't no problem. We'll get that definitely. Okay, gotta go. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Alright, if I remember, we can get irradiated from uh, the nuke down here. Yeah. We can uh, drink the water to super boost our rads and actually fill up our health a little bit. No, it's going to take a little bit. Just listen to this crazy in the background. I guess they'd be like the beginning of the Children of Adam, I think, right? Alright, so... We're a third of the way there. We'll go ahead and get the, uh... 600 rads done. Help her out a little bit better with the book. 
Man, that guy does not shut the hell up. He just keeps talking and talking. Not buying what he's selling. It would be nice to get uh, a level up here so we can maybe disarm this bomb. I don't think we'll uh, destroy Megaton. Okay, that should be it. Now let's go see if she can actually fix us up or not. under the weather or a bit over the Geiger counter <laughs> yeah I'm about as ready as I can get without burning a hole in the floor or dying I think that's a little bit more relevant I can tell you're positively glowing now just hold on and try not to move tell me how it feels and I'll get you fixed right up just do your examination and fix me up please cuz this is not fun you're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Great. Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, Maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive. Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Okay, some rat right away. And Rad X. Okay. Cool little ability there. Alright, now I'm ready to continue this research. What's uh what's what's next? I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Uh getting food doesn't sound so bad. Uh what exactly are you looking for? Well, Food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay. I'll go ahead and check that super duper mart. Oh, great. Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? All right, gotta go. Try not to die. Encouraging. All right, let's go up to Moriarty Saloon and see if we can't find a little bit more about the old man and his whereabouts. Yeah, it's just the shitters. All right, here we go. Let's uh, change that. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Sure. Why not? Nothing else going on. Only looking for my dad. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Okay. Uh, got any information about Arfia? Sure. Be glad to since you're doing me a big favor and all. Uh, where is it? Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Okay. Do you think their family's in danger or something? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. 
Okay. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Later. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. If you say so. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I'm looking for my dad, middle-aged guy. Maybe you might have uh, seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. Hard to forget handsome men like that. Okay, if you give me some information or, you know, point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Okay. Take care of yourself, hon. Anyway. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh, let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Hmm. Didn't really plan on it. I need info. Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen. Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. I'm um, looking for my dad. You seen him around? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Come on, man. If you got something, you know, just let me know. With this fourteen percent chance. Sorry, smooth skin. <laughs> I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Okay. Very yes, excited. That's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Shut your mouth. What's shaking? Okay. Yeah, what the hell do you Holland Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Okay. Uh, have you seen my old man? My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Uh, look, I just want to find my dad. You know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say... A hundred cops. And Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Oh. Alright. Just take the caps. No. Just tell me where the old man's at. Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old dad, he went southeast into D.C. to the Galaxy News radio station. Uh, good luck now. Great. Do not remember where that's at, but I'm sure we'll find it. Oh yeah, this guy. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. 
All right, if you've got a point, just, you know, go ahead and make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton, no interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete, the last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away, and you are going to see that it does. All right, I'm uh, I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid. Handsomely. What do you say? Uh, let's attempt. Throw in some more caps, man. Well played. An extra 500 caps, in addition to the base fee when Megaton lies in ruins. Here's the fusion pulse charge. Place it in the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Tenpenny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Any questions? Nope. I, uh... Gonna have to consider that now. Don't let me keep you. Sir, glad you're back. An extra 500 caps, Don't but... Don't look at me like that. What's shaking? Whoa, jeez. Oh, an extra 500 caps. Is that worth the lives of all these people? Maybe I should just do all these quests first, and then... Making a move? Huh? Maybe. Maybe just knock out the quest, and then come back and... End Megaton? I don't know. It should be interesting. Would have liked to got a nice little level up, but... He did not. So, what does that put us at? Alright, Galaxy News, deliver the thing. I guess we could keep doing that. Go to the Super Duper Mart. Okay. Please help me out, Gum. Please, Megaton. No, nah, I'm good right now, dude. Okay. Let's get on our armored jumpsuit, and we will equip the ten mil. Oh no! Let's just get the let's get the uh. Lead pipe. Let's go work this ant out. All right. He's down. Little bit of XP. That's a very strangely flat rock, but okay. I don't know why it caught my attention so much. Oh, blowfly. Oh. Get up in his face. Blast him. Yeah. All right. Not bad. I guess that's the mark down there, but let's check out this burnt down house. Maybe we might find something interesting here. Maybe some gear or some, something to fight. Or a skeleton in a bathtub. Oh. 
Okay, some more ammo. It's never a bad thing. Ah. I believe that's a sneak book, right? Yeah. Okay. Increasing our sneak a bit. Not sure how effective it's going to... What the hell? Oh, it's Brahmin. I was like, what is the heck? Take that letter from Vault Tech. What is going on down here? Oh, you're attacking me? Oh, hell no. Get out of here, Brahmin. I want to fight you. Are y'all still chasing me? Oh, the craze versions. Okay. That makes sense then. Go on. Yeah. Okay. There's a little boat down here. We check that out before we hit. I'm guessing that's a super duper mark there. Let's see what's down here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hidden in the boat. That's a radiation. Oh. Okay. Oh, more 44 ammo. That's that's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of beer here. Okay. Well, that was good. But now we got some more skilled magnum ammo. You know, it rocks and things. Okay. Let's check out this dumpster. Nothing. And nothing. Now we got some powerful gun early on. I'm glad we repaired it. Didn't really expect to find some, uh. Okay, cool. We can fast travel now. Okay, we got a raider there. Anybody over here? I don't want to get flanked. Okay, no. It might just be that one guy. Can't remember. I don't think he's open, do they? Yeah, no. Uh-oh. Something saw him. I guess it's just him. I think he had a shotgun one. Is that on there? I know he has something big. Oh, combat shark. Oh, get out. Oh, that is so good. We only have eight shells, so. That is a little bit worrisome. What was he chasing though over here? I saw him shooting at something. No, it's getting dark real quick. Is that a scorpion? Maybe that's what he was fighting then. I'm sorry about your bad luck, buddy. And an ant. Okay. Looks like we missed a battle here. Oh, here's another dead dude. Okay. Right. Okay, got them all down. 
All right. We'll go ahead and uh, stop this episode here. And we'll pick up by investigating the Super Duper Mart next. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.